Tonight's menu is going to be tilapia filet in sweet and sour sauce. So here are all my ingredients. I have prepped them up. They all are ready to go. I have my pan heated up. So here is my fish filet. This has been washed. I salted it and rinsed it out so we could get that fishy smell. I'm just letting it sit in a paper towel so we could, you know, dry it up. And I'm gonna pat it down a little bit. So I'll be doing two things at the same time. I got my pan, small pan, on one side of the stove and my pan that I will be making the sauce. Okay, here's my um, saucepan, not saucepan, frying pan that is ready to go. I had to turn the heat down because it was uh, heating up too fast for me. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is cook my fish in a separate pan because I wanna make sure they are cooked before I put them in the sauce, okay? And I put butter in there to, you know, so it doesn't stick to the pan. We will turn up this pan and heat that one up. Now before I start on that, or actually let me get my oil going so we don't waste time. I'm just gonna use vegetable oil. Get the amount in there so you could, you know, make sure you, your vegetables don't stick to the pan. Swirl it up. Okay. Now, um, here's my sauce. This is the sauce, main sauce um, for the fish. Um, we got tomatoes, garlic. I love a lot of garlic, so I, I use a whole head, basically, smash and chop in little piece. I got some lemongrass and lime leaf to get the nice, you know, aroma going. And the last um, stuff that I will add are the vegetables, which is just the sweet mini peppers. I sliced that and I got some yellow onions and, you know, some nice green leaf onions to give it a nice green color. All right, we are going to start with the garlic into the pan. It is not that hot yet, but I think it will be okay. And garlic, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, lemongrass and the kaline leaves so that it will cook together. That will give it a nice, you know, smell. I'm just gonna cook that. And here's our fish cooking. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna let it cook, like take its time on that because it's gonna take me a while to get the sauce going and I have no rush getting the fish cooked. I don't know, it's kind of dark. I don't know if you guys can see the fish, but the fish is cooking. Okay. A lot of lighting, sorry about that guys. But I hope that you guys can see a little bit of it, the fish. But it's just a regular, you know, tilapia filet that I bought at the local grocery store. I washed it with salt and then rinsed it out really well. That just gives you that, you know, doesn't give you that fishy smell. Okay. I'm gonna turn up my heat for the sauce. And for the seasoning, I am using, of course, everything in my cooking for flavor is the chicken broth. Um, mix. Now I bought a whole, I bought a big size and this will last me many months guys. And hoisin sauce, this will give me the nice sweetness uh, taste. Of course the oyster, oyster sauce. I got my fish sauce and my sugar. Sugar, just the white sugar. Okay. Now we just want to cook this until it's brown. This is um, my son's somewhat favorite dish. He likes the sauce when I make this, so I try to make the sauce more. He just kind of, you know, 
put the sauce over his rice and that's all he'll have. Okay, I think the garlic is good and my lemongrass is, I'm getting that nice smell going. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato and let that cook. I want to cook down the tomato. And tomato is gonna be my main, um, main sauce for this. It's like a tomato, sweet and sour tomato sauce, basically. If I had chicken broth, that would be perfect for this type of dish because then it'll give you that rich flavor. But since I didn't make this week, I'm just gonna go ahead and add water to give it the liquid part. Okay, now that one is ready to flip. Just flip them over. Guys, let me cook this up so we don't waste time and I will come back when the tomatoes cook down. Right, guys, the fish is cooked, one of the fish. I will go ahead and take that out, set that aside. Okay, let me just, this is all you have to do on that one. Put that in a plate and set that aside. And I will cook the next fish. And my tomato is ready to go. It is all cooked down. What I'm gonna do next is add the, um, the water in there to start making the sauce. I'm turning my heat back up. I had to turn it down while I was, was working on the fish. So, all right guys, here's the tomato sauce. Now the water amount depends on how much you want your sauce. You're gonna cook it down, so if you want a little bit more sauce, I would add a little, a little bit more water. Okay, put them in there. Turn up the heat to high. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I, I want it to have an extra sauce. Like I said, this is my son's favorite. I want to make sure he has enough for maybe tomorrow. So I'm going to make the sauce extra more. Okay. All right. Let me turn my music down. I forgot I had it on. I love Isan music or the country style music. I grew up listening to this type of music, so that's like my uh, cozy music, comfort music. I just, okay. All right, now that we got the water in, we got the heat turned up, I will go ahead and season my, um, my pan. I'm gonna start with chicken broth. I'm gonna get me a spoon so I can measure it out for you guys. Start with two tablespoons on this, guys. Two full tablespoons of chicken broth into the um, tomato mix. Now your the flavor is going to be sweet and sour, so that's what you're going for. Mix that in. Okay, and I will add my oyster sauce. The oyster sauce will give it a nice, rich taste and with the color. Okay, I'm gonna use a big old spoon, this big spoon that I have. I'm gonna use about, um, at least three tablespoons if you want the measurement on that. And my hoisin sauce, I'm gonna use, um, let's use this so we can give you a measurement. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of that. Just squeeze it in. Like I said, I adjust my flavor so I don't have exact. 
sometimes I get it right the first time. Sometimes, you know, I have to fix it up again. Okay. Just mix that all in. my fish sauce. I'm going to start with one tablespoon for now and then we'll adjust later if we need to. So one tablespoon of fish sauce. Okay. And sugar. This is going to be a somewhat sweet dish. So we're going to do two tablespoons. I'm going to do two tablespoons for now. my hand. I'm going to give this a taste. Okay, I am going to flip the fish. It looks like you need some flipping. Okay, Let's flip to the other side. Now this one is on a low heat or medium heat, I should say on the fish. Like I said, I'm not in a rush to fit it, finish it up yet because I'm still making the sauce, so I got time on that part. So, let me taste this. You know what? One of the things I forgot was butter. I was, I planned it on using butter as for the creaminess, and I forgot about that. So I'm going to use like about, let me see, um, close to Two tablespoons of butter. Ah! Drop it in there, but it's okay. They're all going in at the end. So I'm putting two tablespoons of, or three tablespoons of butter, almost three tablespoons. The tomato sauce has been cooked down for a while. I think it was about a mm, good four minutes in a simmer. The sauce is somewhat thickened. I have tasted, as far as the flavor, um, it, it's kind of like, I think it needs a little bit more of the sugar and the hoisin sauce. The other stuff, I think it's good. I'm gonna leave it out, so I'm gonna add more of the hoisin sauce. It just doesn't have that rich sweetness taste that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna add one more um, full tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And I'm going to add additional tablespoon of the sugar. Okay. I'm on my last fish and I should be done with that. watching the news, so <laughs> the same time I'm cooking. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, mini bell pepper, but before I do that, I am going to remove the lemongrass stock, just because I don't want that in there when I'm, you know, I just want the flavor and the smell, so take that out because you can't really eat through to that. The rest I want to make it easier on them when they eat they don't have to take them out themselves. So if I take them out now it will make the dish more easy to consume. just to get it simmer. Okay, now you saw me add extra hoisin sauce and sugar. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste and see how that is. Mm. Perfect. I got 
got the flavor that I wanted. Now I am going to add my bell pepper. I wanted to add that first so that I could get it cooked down. I will add my green onion last, just because, you know, it doesn't take long to cook the green onions. But the bell pepper needs some time to cook for me. I like, I like to make sure this one is cooked to the point where it's soft. And after that, we'll add the yellow onions. Now, as far as vegetables, it's optional, you guys. If you don't like vegetables or you want a different vegetable, add it. I mean, when it comes to my cooking, I don't follow rules, like I said. I, I, there's so many people out there that, you know, cook their food based on how they like, and that's what it should be, right? Uh, when I cook certain things and then I get comments like, um, that's not how my mom does it, or that's, that's not how I do it. Well, of course that's not how your mom does it because that's how I do it, right? I did say how I make certain things, I didn't say. So, this is my way of cooking. I alter my stuff. I don't keep it original or whatever that means. Different people cook different ways and if it's good, it's good. That's It's simple as that. That's when it comes to my cooking. I don't have rules. You add whatever you want and however you want. I mean, I know how my family likes their food, so I cook according to what they like. And some of the Lao dish, you know, there's certain ways of doing it, but I mean, come on now, you know, why? Uh, if it's good, it's good. Simple as that, and I cook it the way I feel. I see fit, so. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook, and then after that, we will add everything else, and the last thing is left to add is the fish, and the fish is almost ready. I mean, just one more to go, and the rest are history. All right, guys, the pepper is looking like it's ready, so I will add my next ingredients which is the yellow onions. Okay. Ah, I should have sliced that good enough. Okay, ah, don't want you to get in there yet. The same thing as the bell pepper, but let it cook down. So I took the kalime leaf out as well because they're not gonna eat that. So let's take them out. We just want the the smell and the flavor, you know. So I'm gonna let that cook. And once that's ready, I will be back. are going to add the fish in there and allow it to um, the sauce to work through the fish so we can get that rich flavor. Gently put that down. You don't want to break the pieces.
going to cook too long because I don't want my sauce to go down any lower. What I'm going to do next is last put my onions in. Oh, I got some kale. I was washing kale earlier. I was making, um, preparing my dinner, which is going to be kale salad. Again, when they're ready to have it. Thank you guys for stopping by.